but in church, I guess in anywhere, I've dealt with it, many of you have dealt with it. We want sometimes to be maybe promoted. Let's say somebody wants to be on the worship team, or somebody wants to be a leader in a ministry, or you want a promotion at work, or you, know, you name it, right? There's a variety of things that we really want, and we get kind of frustrated. If, if, you know, and, and sometimes that's not a bad thing. The Bible even says it's good that a man desires to be an elder, a leader. It's okay to desire that. And so, but a lot of times there's a lot of friction and fractions and fighting, even in the church. I've seen a lot over 12 years over this issue of promotion. Like, I mean, I'm just, again, I have nobody in mind, so don't email me. I'm just, if somebody doesn't get promoted, let's say women's ministry, or why well, thought this, right? Why, why aren't my talents being used? Or why, you know, we, we can all relate. And I was reminded, it was like just clear as day to share this with you. If God wants you somewhere, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Why, why complain then? Why, why aren't I doing that? I should be up there on that stage. I should be. If God wants you up there, you think I'm going to stop it? Of course not. And I've noticed the more I rest, and just wait on God, the more He will elevate. He will push. I can't say a lot now, but I've been asked to speak at some big conferences to pastors maybe next year and in different places. And and, and God wants, and people reaching out, can you bring Ren the Heavens to this area? Like, oh wow, I don't, I can't bring it, barely bring it to this area, you know? So, but there, and, and the more you just let, Lord, what do you want to do? The more, then He will place you. And many times He holds you back in order to break you. And I see that it's sad over the years. I'm talking the last 12 years. People would, why didn't I get promoted? Why didn't I become the worship leader? Why didn't I become the associate pastor? Why aren't I leading the men's ministry? Why can't I start that Thursday study? And I see it a lot. And I'm thinking, if God wants to do it, it's going to happen. I, I can't stop His will, number one. Number two, I don't want to. We always say, Lord, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. And so I don't know if that's helpful for someone, but the more you keep fighting over that, maybe it has nothing to do with church, maybe at your work. Oh, I'm so, why can I get promoted? Why isn't this happening? If God wants to open a door, He'll open it. So to me, it tells me the waiting time is God is working on my heart. He's working on me. And I've told people that even people that have been upset, maybe with our, some of the decisions the leadership has made, I say, if God wants you there, you're going to be there. But this attitude I'm seeing is not good. It's not healthy. Could it be that that is what God's wanting you to work on? Hey, He's working on me. I got, I got some names I could name. You know that they, they, they can, they speak into my life. They reprimand me a little bit. You know. Um, I remember one time, it's funny. I don't even know if I should tell you this. Well, here's what happens. I tell you stuff and people use it against me a year later. You said this. Well, yeah. It can be. But I remember I first met Jim Garlow. Do you know who Jim is? And he said, we just started the church. He goes, I've been following your ministry, you know, powerful preaching and stuff. Wow. And then here I go. I would love to speak at Skyline Church in San Diego. And he just, it was a loving rebuke. Shane, you, if God opens that door, you, but you don't need to ask or push things like that. I'm like, oh, ow, <sighs> boom. But and I, I, my, I was like, I had to check my heart because I wasn't. I was just like, oh, that would be so cool. But see, you know. And then as I just shut my mouth, then God begins to open doors and speak to to, to these different areas and groups. But he, sometimes He'll use these things to get your heart right. And sometimes the longer the process the longer, the deeper the work He's doing in your own heart. Because that's how we change, is by hearing no. And then what do we do with it? All right, Lord, why well, trust You? I'll trust You to lead me.